Hi, my name is Steve Raleigh. I'm a member of Chapel Hill Church, and Pastor Mike asked me to just share some of my thoughts about the current times and just whatever's on my heart. And uh, since he gave me that much leeway, I, I, the first thing I thought of was tell a lot of dad jokes, but I realized that my daughter Maria is the only one that would appreciate those, so I'm not going to put you through that. But I just want to talk for a little while about adversity. And before we start that, let's, just, let's open with a prayer. Father, we just thank you for all that you do in our lives. We thank you for blessing us. We thank you for protecting us. We, we thank you for what you're doing during these difficult times. We just uh, realize that you're, you have not abandoned us, that you're with us, and that you're working through this situation to bring us to a new place. We just praise you and just thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. This uh, time that we're in is really unprecedented in many of our lives. Sure, we've all been through difficult times, but I don't ever remember something that has gone on this long and has been this difficult to have to deal with. And I think the biggest thing of all is just the fear, fear of the unknown, fear of what could happen. And uh, we're, we're told throughout Scripture that we're not to worry one of my favorite verses in Scripture is Philippians 4, 6. And it's not a suggestion, it's a command from God. Do not worry about anything. And he goes on to say, In all things, with prayer and praise and thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I don't know a lot of scripture, but I've memorized that one because it just has spoke to me so much. I've been a worrier all my life. I mean, if I didn't have anything to worry about, I worried about what was coming up next that I didn't even know about. So I, I just fought with that for many years, but finally I just gave it all to the Lord. And just, I told him, I just, I, I just pa pass it on to you, Lord. I give it all to you, and I just trust in you that you will take care of, of everything. And we see through this, these times that God has not abandoned us. He's, he's present with us, and he's well aware of all of the suffering that we're going through. He knows, he, he feels for us, and he, he knows that, that, uh, that, this is not anything that's bigger than him, that he can handle this, and he, he knows that he will get us through this. So I just pray that you will understand this and just know that, that God's at work during this time. And the difficult times are not meant to make us... Uh, make us suffer but they're intended to to make us grow stronger just like an athlete that uh wants to be a, a star be a champion he he or she has to work hard they have to go through a lot of pain a lot of suffering a lot of adversity to deal with uh to make their muscles grow stronger and build their stamina build their strength and all of these things and it's it's a it's a process that we go through when when we're going through hard times and god's with us through all of this I read a book many years ago called The Upside of Adversity. And in this book, written by Oz Hillman, he goes into many cases in Scripture and in our lives where God allows adversity in our life for a purpose. And he's, he's at work in our life, as I've already said. And I just I realized that uh, through this book that every... A great figure in the, in Scripture suffered some form of major adversity in their life, and God was working through that. He was preparing them for something great. He was calling them to a lifetime of service, calling them to to produce great fruit, and just to do amazing things in their world around them. And so we just trust and believe that if He did that with them, He can do that with us too. So I just hope that uh, we will all. Keep this in mind and just remember that, that God not, has not abandoned us. He's with us through this. And a, a reading that I saw recently uh, that I really remembered was sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but actually you've been planted. And that may sound a little strange, but God uh, works through uh, seeds that are planted in the earth too. We, we don't understand how you can plant a seed in the ground and it, it dies and germinates and all of a sudden a new plant springs forth and it has uh, hundreds or thousands of new seeds that have come forth from the, that single seed. And that brings me to mind of a favorite scripture verse of mine. It's in John 12, 24 and says, Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it cannot bring forth new life. 
And this was a, a reference to Jesus dying and rising, but it's also a reference to us. Dying in the sense of going through hard times and putting to death our our old way of life, putting to death our suffering and everything, and trusting that the Lord will will bring us to a new life in Him, a new life that is just amazing and totally different from anything we've uh, we've experienced before. Another scripture verse that I think of is Romans twelve two. It says, "Be transformed by the renewing of your mind." And so God's all it, He's in the uh, business of transforming us, and He does it through difficulties. He does it through hard times because if life was just a bed of roses, we wouldn't grow. We wouldn't learn. We wouldn't become the person that he is calling us to be. I just hope that these uh, these thoughts will ring true with you, and I just hope that maybe it will make a difference in your life. And we just, I just pray that you will trust through all of this that the Lord will will guide us through it, that He will protect us, He will get us through it, and nothing will be greater than what He and us together can can survive. So let's just close in prayer. Lord, we just thank you for this time, and we just pray that that through this suffering that you will help us to grow, to become the person you called us to be, and and to uh, just to to develop a new form of character and be able to do, to do your will in whatever way you're calling us to do. So, we trust in you, Lord, that this this virus and all of this these difficult situations will be something that you will work through to bring about a new creation a new life and a, and a new world that's more in tune with your calling we thank you and praise you in jesus name we pray amen